it's not all just about what's going on in the winery. I think this actually may be one of the most useful things for a wide array of people that are interested in and something beyond just vineyards. This is one of the best things I learned from my soil science class at Santa Rosa JC was we were able to uh, we were able to use these free resources, which never ever can you get enough of free resources, in my opinion. So here we can go to the web soil survey. So here is the web soil survey, which is one of the best free resources out there that I could have ever asked for. It's helped me in a wide array of things. Say you want to help your parents look at their property that they're thinking of purchasing. Say you're looking, wonder what soil a vineyard has. Any of these things can be used. So you're going to click on the start WSS, which is the web soil survey. You can type in any address you want. You're going to uh, find whatever it is, your area. You can kind of scroll in or out using these uh, using these magnifying glasses and then clicking on them. So here you can see the Russian River right here. And this is West Side Road. So I'm just going to get in a little bit more. And to find your area of interest, you're going to come over here to this little polygon tool. And so I'm just going to do a crude one here. But you're going to click it wherever you want. I guess you can't see my finger. But you're going to click it. And you're going to start dragging it around the perimeter of whatever it is that you're looking to define. So as I said, this will just be a really crude one. But this is just to show you that there's going to be quite a few different types of soils. And then you're going to double click to create this soil map. And you can see the blue area right here is what I've, what I've created. It's 136 acres, so this is not small. I'm gonna go up to soil map. And here now I have all the different soils that are being shown. So in this 136 acres, you have all these different symbols down here. You have RNA, which looks like river wash, which makes sense because we're by the river. We have ADA, which is alluvial land and sandy. And so it's going to tell you out of this 136 acres, you have 18.4 acres of that, which is a little bit over 13%. You're going to have RNA over here, more river wash. This makes sense. You're going to have YMB. So you're going to have your YOLO sandy loam overwash. And then it'll also tell you the percent slope. So this is 0 to 5%. So this is really flat. Whereas if you see below it the, the YVF up here at the top, that's 30 to 50% slope. So it's just a totally, if you're thinking topographically, these are gonna, this will be helpful. So I just wanted to kind of show you how that can work. Then you're gonna go up here to printable version. You can uh, name this something. So I'm gonna name this Rocchioli Vineyard. Then you'll be able to view it and it's gonna create this little template for you. So now all of a sudden you have something that's easy to print out. You're gonna have like West Side Road here, Sweetwater Springs Road. You're going to have a direction as well as a scalability. And you always are going to need to have a scale on any map. That's just something you always need. It's going to have a legend with all of your information here. And then you'll also have, once again, your unit symbols kind of being uh, displayed for you so that you have an idea of what it is that you're working with.